thought out of my part. <sighs> Another Terra mission. Didn't quite get it down in time. Uh, yeah, I guess we can do that. Oh, actually, no. Uh, I was going to say maybe you need more power suits, but we're going to build flying suits anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so maybe a couple more though. My own main um, set of guys. I'm going to take the rookies off as well. So that we can get our best guys on the terror mission. Let's have a quick look at how good some of these guys are. Monica's mediocre. Are we taking Monica off? Oh, Max firing accuracy is real bad. I'll take off Ilian Mark and put some more of our good guys on. And just make sure they have the right um, armor on. Now there's going to be a lot of promotions after this mission because they've ordered a lot more soldiers. Might as well give someone else a power suit and give personal armor to the next few guys. In case the base gets raided while I'm out or I forget to equip it later. It's more likely. <laughs> Alright, off we go. That's an interceptor, what am I doing? Scaranger, go save Berlin. Streaming game, stream game, 10. Hoi, Berlin is saved. Alright, I'm gonna force you to be right-handed. Because it's a lot more convenient for me. Uh, after the first guys, I only want um, alternating grenades. Any sword can probably <laughs> lose a grenade. The Monica can have one. Yeah, that's good. Goddamn chrysalids. And we're not in the corner of the map, it was a take out. Ow. There's a lot of places to cover. Mm, honestly, the crystal is a bigger risk. It's very unlikely the snake man will notice me through the smoke, but it's reasonably likely the crystal did well. And it runs really fast. 
Uh, 24. No, you can't afford to fire. No, that fire stall. Cheers. Alright, never mind. Just uh, throw your grenade then. Not enough time units. Okay, drop your grenade. That's easy enough, right? Perfect. Line of fire from here. Good, good. Maybe that wasn't primed. <laughs> Just in case, I'm gonna throw that grenade there. Maybe another one. Just yeah, no. Just here. Like if that grenade is in fact primed and is about to explode, then I mean, who really cares? If we just spend another grenade, making sure we're safe. Pretty good trade-off in my opinion. Okay, I was primed. Uh, so based on the based on the travel time of that shot that killed the civilian, the guy's probably on the other side of the warehouse. Unfortunately, the chrysalids are getting around, even though we killed two at the start. Because again, when chrysalids bite someone, they become zombies, and afterwards they become chrysalids, which is you know bad, surprisingly. He needs to turn diagonal to fire that shot. Dangerous to go that far, even for a tank. These houses are not cleared yet, so technically there might still be guys inside them, like aliens inside them, so keep a couple guys around there just to be sure, just to be safe. Um, yeah, that, that layout's fine. He didn't die. Even the tank got a reaction shot. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of chrysalid kills. This is gonna be a problem. Yeah, okay, there is someone in that house. And they're no longer civilians. to find them. There we go. Well, you hit the guy behind, that's not bad, I guess. Yeah, crystals are, are tough to kill. They have a high combination of health and armor. Yes. They're like one of the only enemies where those weapons are just cutting it a little bit too short. 
that turned into a pursuit because we shot it, because that totally makes sense. Dude, it survived four hits. Five hits and it's asleep. Hopefully it has fatal wounds and will die while it's asleep. Guy down the street. Uh, more chrysalids. A couple guys down the street. Well, there goes my tank. At least the tank doesn't turn into a zombie. Mm, zombies are lower priority than the active chrysalids. On the plus side, I can stop using so much smoke if I'm fighting chrysalids. So I can start shooting them from further away. Direct hits, all three shots. Pull these guys back a little bit. I don't want them getting killed by a sudden chrysalid attack. Even my my guys over here, I'm gonna pull back slightly. There's been too many um. Civilian kills, I can't afford to stay here. So exposed. We're better off just letting the civilians die, as unfortunate as that is. Just leave him be. Oh, they TK'd. Time to vote kick them. What is your accuracy, dude? 48. Yeah, that would explain it. And now it's a crystal. Because when you kill eggs prematurely, they turn into the creatures that they would otherwise become. to kneel. Mm, on the downside, my guys are a little bit too clustered together, they're vulnerable to a grenade. I might pull them apart just a little bit further again. And 
officially clear this building. But I don't know if you're scared about standing next to it. So well and good that these guys are panicking, but there's still a lot of chrysalids running around. <sighs> like that guy right there. <laughs> Not very good at using doors. Another chrysalid is born. Excellent. Everyone's favorite. Pull back even more. Um. Get another guy on this side. Help with the firing. Oh, that's a snake man. Like that is so much hidden movement. Unconscious. Probably from smoke inhalation because he's been in the smoke cloud for a while. Uh, and it looks like one there has woken up. So they're panicking pretty badly. I don't think chrysalids can panic though, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna keep chilling here. That guy's unarmed. He must have woken up after being knocked out. There was some free reactions training. Like, look how long this hidden movement phase is lasting, even though we've killed so many aliens already. And so many civilians are dead. Insane. Might move this guy a little bit closer with the group. I don't think he's going to see much if he stays where he was. Well, oh wow, that's a long way away. The smoke must be really thin. Because the smoke does um thin out over time. Y you can't see it visually, but... Um, smoke does have a varying degree of density, and obviously the more dense it is, the better the um, line of sight block is. Honestly, I'm going to get you to put your smoke grenade away, so that you have better accuracy in your two-handed weapon. And we're just going to chill here. And hope that the snake men all drop their weapons and then we can just fight chrysalids from long range. Because they're panicking pretty hard. Including the leader. Because they've lost so many guys. And all they've killed is a tank. I'm guessing all the civilians are probably dead. What I'm gonna do is start opening up the sides of buildings. Take turns making the shots. But so everyone keeps some time units for reaction firing. This will just improve our line of sight a little bit.
Still don't see anything. Bit of wall does not want to die. Sight for the next 10 meters in front of us is pretty good. It's just the next 20 that I'm worried about. Because again, crystals move real fast. And things that move fast will allowed to move very far. Because that's how time units work. The, the better our line of sight, the lower chance we have of randomly dying to them. I don't categorically know that the chrysalid in that house just over here is dead, unless I walk up to it. Oh, good shot. That guy was unconscious, we'll just use him for reaction training. Is he's unarmed, like... It's just for your action training, might as well. meant to move that guy's point of view. Uh, we're gonna have to build another tank. <laughs> it's pretty annoying. I don't want to go hunt them. I still don't know how many chrysalids are out there. And it's it's just not worth the risk. All the civilians are dead, there's no one to save. So we might as well just play super cautious. On the plus side, the um, alien turn seems to have shortened. I guess we've killed a decent chunk of them now. Probably only maybe 2 3 left. Something like that. Maybe 4 or 5 max. It's getting very good in front of us, which is perfect. Exactly what we want. I want more guys to, more aliens to have died before I move out. I guess this is going to be a little bit boring for a little bit. We can just use him for action training. It's basically impossible for him to walk up to our entire firing squad and not get killed. Um, I am willing to reactions training on this target. kill him. With Bruno. <laughs> he struggles to hit a target five meters away from him. Alright, 
Yeah, that looks like a couple aliens left only. What's oh, a zombie? Maybe we can use your actions training. What? So he becomes a, an actual chrysalid and then he just disappears. I don't think that's how that works, dude. In any case, more actions training. I think we're far enough away that we can risk it. Now probably not. So we'll get Bruno to take another shot. He really needs some help with the stats. This should be an easy kill if he can land his shots. This will not kill him, even if it lands. Who else would like Monica? Oh, hello. You could use some help with your time units and stuff. I gotta say, if I was like in charge of the city, I would be pretty pissed. If XCOM came to save us, except all the civilians died anyway. There's still a snakeman out there. I'm just gonna still like a chrysalid or two or a zombie or two or something as well. It's a zombie. Who is now a chrysalid. Of course he disappears because that's how line of sight works, apparently. We can use him for actions training. Far away boys. And again, now he's too close, so Monica will take the shot. No line of fire. Monica will take the shot now. Okay. He's gonna miss the shots, then someone else will have to soften the chrysalid up. Come on, hand. Damn. That was some pretty bad shooting. Got him pretty unlucky, I guess. One more round. Or one more round that lands. And then I'll let Monica try and finish it. Oh, never mind. Got lucky on my dice rolls. That looks like two aliens max. Probably just one there. Snake and soldier. Hopefully he's dropped his gun, in which case we can just go hunt him with no risk. But again, Chris that's involved don't take risks. Not unless they're really low risk like the reaction training. Alright, maybe at turn eighty five I'll go. Spread out a bit more, see if I can see him. Alright. I'm gonna leave three people guarding that alien in case it wakes up. Probably from a bit of a distance with their safety. And everyone else can just start fanning out.
still playing this pretty cautious. Let's start dividing them into squads. Uh, I'll pull these guys back slightly and get two squads of four uh, next turn. keep looking at that building. So two people look there, two people look sort of south. And I'm gonna gun this building. Open. The sight lines aren't good enough yet with this. Yes. That's a dropped gun, so that suggests he's around here. But I do not want to take chances. Unnecessarily. Probably his last grenade, if we can find him. Who needs the boost? Monica. Monica's dibs. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Alright, on a guy. You got injured, take your revenge. Perfect. So, this zombie is probably the last. Alien. Wherever he is, he's somewhere over here. There, alright. I'll just go firing squad on him. I'll pull these guys over so they can have fun too. What I'm going to do is put stuff in their hands. Maybe not those, maybe smoke grenades, because those are more useful. I'm intentionally reducing their accuracy so that... Okay, that was unintended. I'm intentionally reducing their accuracy so that they will miss more shots. The more shots they take, the better the reactance training is. So, might as well take advantage of the situation. Wow, you're out of smoke grenades. But we can pull back and keep shooting at it. This is far enough away that it should die before it reaches us.
It ran the whole screen up and still had an attack. It still had the time units to attack. And these are six of my best guys. Yeah, well maybe not Bruno, but these are six of my best guys and they couldn't kill him with reaction shots. Even though he was already injured. Holy shit. Wow. Okay. Um. Wow. So, that whole thing about not taking risks with Chrysalids, yeah, well, there you go. Just lost one of my best guys. I think that was the, the, the most accurate person I had on the whole squad, and he had a lot of time units as well. And he was brave and he didn't get mind controlled. Uh, and I lost him because I wanted to get a little bit more reaction training. I think it might have worked if the guys on the outside were facing inwards. Fuck. Dude, look at his stats. He had 65 reactions. Most of that was natural. And look at all this health he gained. <sighs> I wasn't that brave. Maybe I overhyped him a little bit, but still, look. 15 missions, 13 kills. I don't remember if he's got three kills. Oh, um, and I miss you too. Right, we'll wrap up in a bit. Which I later three. But it has no weapons, so that's not very useful. Avalanche missiles. The Martian solution. Our research now research? Our research now points to Mars as the base of alien operations. The base is well hidden and contains all the manufacturing and cloning facilities to fuel the infiltration of Earth. It also seems to contain a controlling computer of some kind that controls... That's... That's not very good writing. A controlling computer of some kind that controls. Of course it controls, it's a controlling computer. That controls the whole operation. It seems that the hive-like alien society has some kind of queen bee. This is their fundamental weakness. If we can eliminate the brain, then the body will die. We must step up our research efforts before it is too late. In order to progress, we must capture the highest ranking aliens, the commanders, which only reside in alien bases. Uh, I did not get my punchline though. I was hoping it would reference something that didn't exist yet, but unfortunately it didn't happen. <laughs> oh, Hyperwave Dakota, let's go. Damn. And we need money, so let's sell some courses. Oh, we don't need that many small launches. Speaking of which, we should probably equip those. Um, oh, wait, what? Have we not finished researching them yet? Oh, wow. Okay. There we go. Actually, let's...
get some of these random projects finished up. And Scilab is pretty good too. Alien retaliation, so they're trying to kill us. Beautiful. <sighs> I'm still bummed about losing um, our best hand solo. <laughs> well, in my opinion, our best hand solo. That guy was so reliable for shots. How's manufacturing? Mm, so so. <clears throat> Soon we'll be firing some of our scientists. We're running out of things to research. So I'm gonna build another workshop. And I'm gonna start building stuff at Dell so that it can be converted into a workshop facility as well. And same with um, CP people. Uh, yeah, let's go on this mission before the stream ends. Yeah, let's let's do a mission with eight people. Just to honor the memory of Han Solo. And we're gonna take no risks, and we're gonna gun everything down. <laughs> Not taking anyone alive. On the left side, the reactions training probably helped a great deal. So this is Han Solo number two. Well actually the other guy is probably number two. But this Han Solo doesn't have quite the same kill pressure. His stats have evolved quite nicely. but. Originally, he was not like the sharpshooter that he is today. <sighs> Two teams of four. Quite a lot of movement. It's a small ship, too. Which makes the movement even more concerning. <laughs> like why are there so many of them around? Or are they just moving a lot? Like what's up? Hello. Oh, no one really needs the shot. 54, 73, 68. 77. Heavy plasma. Okay. No, prime it. You can throw it next turn. Well, okay, the turn shortened significantly. I guess they're just running around a lot or something. Opening up line of fire in case they're hiding in the trees.
I'm gonna split the squad up a little bit more. Hello. Please break down the wall, thank you. Line of fire? Nice. people and five people. I can't even see what we're shooting at. Well, he can't cut up the stairs anymore. Most accurate guy. Seventy-three, eighty-two, sixty-eight, and seventy-seven. Well, let's let keys take the shot. Wave Dakotas. Uh, so it's. No, it's not near the end of the month, so I don't have to worry about end of month expenses just yet. But yeah, we need to liquidate some more stuff. Man, we're running out of Valyrium. Maybe we're building too many power suits. Or at least more than I usually do. That should let us put the Hypewave Dakotas, and I will call it there. So for the one person watching, I will catch you, and oh wait, let's just la launch Interceptor on this. Do anything with guns, but destroy his guns. Perfect, alright. Save. Stream game 11, and good night. <laughs>